Dr. John Ratzenberger has a lot of iconic things on his resume. Uh, you know him from a lot of different things, okay. including Cliff Clavin from the iconic show Cheers, and then has been in many, most, as a matter of fact, of the Pixar films, starting with Toy Story back in the big 90s. He is doing another iconic role this year, second year, as Ebenezer Scrooge. Ebenezer. Now, Ebenezer. And we say good morning to Bridgeport native John Ratzenberg. Nice to see you, sir. Nice to be seen. We'll we'll get to the we'll get to the resume in just a minute. But we were talking about uh, a Christmas Carol a moment ago. Uh, you had never done this role before. No, aside from last year, how do you make it your own? Well, it it's my job, mm -hmm. basically. And I don't know the answer to that question. Uh -huh. uh, you go and and you you, know, you think of the character. Certainly, you know Dickens. And, and you you know the arena that mm -hmm. it's in, and you know the feeling, and mm -hmm. uh, you you just go for it. Uh -huh. and then you have the director that says, "Yeah, okay, we yes. like that, <laughs> we like that," and you stick with it. Is it a challenge to do something as iconic as as Ebenezer Scrooge? Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I want to say no. <laughs> you see, because I, I I have so much fun doing what I do. Mm -hmm. I never look at it like it's a. It's a challenge, or this is a chore, mm -hmm. or hard work, mm -hmm. because it's not. It's fun. Yeah. Otherwise, and, you wouldn't do it. Well, I'm, I might. I don't know. <laughs> but when you slip into somebody else's shoes or soul, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's, I, I guess, one of the things you have to have in your kit bag as an actor is uh, empathy. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, this is the second year you're doing a, a Christmas Carol, which is a sort of homecoming event. You see a couple of clips on screen right now. Uh, oh, homecoming yeah, from uh, Sacred Heart University, uh, where you graduated when? 1906. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> 1969? And back then, was the university the university it is now? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no, back then you can get in if your socks matched. <laughs> okay. But mine did that day, luckily. Uh -huh. um, no, it's really taken over uh, the, the, the presence of iconic universities, mm -hmm. certainly in Connecticut. Sure. I think it's eclipsed Fairfield University and Yukon and on its way to gobble up Yale, because yeah. it's a real, as if it's it, got a football team for crying out right, loud. Right, all this stuff, and as, as if you didn't need to hear the accolades of Sacred Heart, Princeton Review ranking the theater arts program as one of the best in the nation. So yeah. you're, you're in a company of some, some good, good folks. Who's directing this? It's uh, uh, Jerry Goring. Another, another alum. No, I don't think he is. Is he the one? No. No? That's okay. the answer lady yes, over there. Yes, <laughs> prompting us left and right. No, okay, but, uh, but in terms of the team, when you have such a, uh, such a great department, um, I, I would have to imagine uh, it makes it easier a little bit. Oh, yeah. It's a, good, it's a good group. The kids down there at Sacred, I call them kids. You know, they boat and drive cars and everything. Uh -huh. But because uh, I'm 105. <laughs> I look pretty good you for that. You look dang yeah. good for your age, sir. <laughs> but uh, they, it's such a good group. Yeah. I mean, they're so attentive, and they really is, are serious about their work, which mm -hmm. helps because sure. I'm not. Do you, well, okay. Oh. Do you, do, well, I, that's a, but that leads to a good question. Do, do you try to t teach them anything? Do I? Yeah. No. No? They're... I mean, if they ask. Sure. But what are they going to ask? You know, I mean, you got an audience. You got to do a play. Well, but this is a man who you know. I know you. You probably you know him from Cheers and the, and the and the Pixar films. But you've done so much more, including and I love yeah. this. And and props to to our producer Bill Welcome for finding this. Not only were you at Woodstock by, back in <laughs> yeah. 1969, but you built the darn thing. Well, the stage. Yeah. I was a, a, a carpenter. I mean, that's how I made my living for a long time. Uh huh. Uh, and me and a buddy, Ray Hassett, who's another uh -huh. Bridgeportian Sacred Heart alum, uh -huh. uh, yeah, we were both uh, hired to work up at Woodstock. That's yeah. fantastic. Did you stay for the shows, or did you think, oh, this no, is no, just a No, no, I was game. working during the shows. Okay. So did I you... was driving a tractor hauling soup to the kitchen of the, you know, the hippies over at <laughs> 
<laughs> I love this. I, I, we could we could spend a few minutes talking about that. I, I would imagine a couple of hours. A, a couple of hours, and then and then we would go into all of the uh, things that uh, people that you've worked with, including Ben Kingsley and uh, James Cagney, back uh, with yeah. in Ragtime. Yeah, imagine that. I, I can actually say I worked with James Cagney. That, that, that's a uh, James Cagney, uh, uh, you know, Burt Lancaster mm -hmm. in, in the early years, mm -hmm. and uh, Jimmy Stewart, and a uh, oh, whole uh, mess of people. The yeah, one? but because they were on just uh, waning, mm -hmm. and I was just waxing. Uh -huh. And yet, I would imagine these days, mm -hmm. the one thing that people come up to you and say, oh my gosh, I know you from, is all of the voices, all the characters you've done in yeah. the Pixar films. Right, yeah, yeah. I, I would imagine kids come up and they go, oh, you've worked with Jimmy Keg. No, they actually say, do the voices. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, Ham, yeah. Ham and Toy Story. That yeah, was the first one. That's what I usually do for younger kids. Uh -huh. uh, it, if they're too young, they're confused. But wait a minute, right. because they think that's an actual thing. Absolutely. So uh, it, you, you got to be conscious of the age group. Pixar called you their lucky charm. Yeah, His yeah. voice has been in every Pixar film from 1995 to uh, just a couple of years ago. That's kind of cool. Well, they just called two days ago to do the next one. Good. Which was what? Uh, in and out. Okay. Well, it's, it's good. The, star down, the, the starving artist is still working. That, that's a good thing. <laughs> we, we, we made it through. I'm the, a carpenter. I, I'm you, always good. You work. can fall back on that. Absolutely. That's, that's what I always tell my kids when they, were, when they were small. I said, get a skill that you own. Sure. You own it. I don't care what it is, but you own it. So that, I mean, if you lose a job or the company shuts down, you'll always work. You'll always have a job. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're a mechanic, a right. machinist. Uh huh. And a carpenter, plumber. Or the United States Postal Service, which you're very uh, fond of since you played mailman Cliff Clavin for many years. And I have my producer screaming in my ear, you've mentioned everything but cheer so far. <laughs> it's one of the, the top sitcoms on TV ever. Yeah, it it's is. Sti it, it, it's still considered the, the best sitcom ever. I, I, and I think you had a big, big part of that. So between cheers... All of the Pixar films, now Christmas Carol, throw Woodstock in there. You've had a hell of a career, sir. Oh, it's more than that. I lived in uh, in Europe for 10 years, uh -huh. and we, Ray and I, Ray Hess and I, uh, toured uh, two men improvised comedy a shows. A comedy show. What's that? A comedy duo. Yeah, throughout Europe, and I mean, that's a whole nother, right. that's several chapters there. This is great. Could, yeah. we, we would love, and, and uh, obviously he's proud to be back home, we mentioned this, because he is uh, not only a Sacred Heart alum, but from Bridgeport, and, and uh, up until uh, a few years ago, was even living here. When you come home, what do you see in Connecticut, in, in all of the years that, uh, that you've been? A diner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, in, in living in California, I really miss diners. No good diners. No diners. No diners at all. See, I, I say the same thing. I grew up in Florida. No diners at all. Yeah, well, I, you, I don't know why. Yeah. The, uh, I've got the nice coconut custard pie. And there you go. It's what's not to like. You, ha you could see John Ratzenberger four shows this weekend at uh, Sacred Heart University. Uh, tickets will be, uh, we'll link to it. There's the information uh, up on the screen, but we will link it all to you via our website, fox61.com. John Ratzenberger, yeah. a pleasure to see you. A pleasure to That's meet you. That's it? I'm done? You know what? Listen, we could talk. I got stories. And we could talk for hours and hours, but the pet of the week is going to be very disappointed. Oh, <laughs> pet of the week, I better get out of here. <laughs>